Hello, I'm O.S. Hawkins, and I want to welcome you to this film series on the Nehemiah Code. It's never too late for a new beginning. You know, I've noticed in life that at some time or another, that's what all of us are going to be, have to be interested in, and that is a new beginning. Whether we're rebuilding our self-confidence, rebuilding our home, rebuilding our church, uh, rebuilding after an integrity crisis, whatever it may be, it's never too late for a new beginning. We're here at this beautiful Mission Espada in San Antonio, Texas. These walls have been here over 300 years, built by those Spanish explorers so long ago. But you know, there's something very interesting about them. They had to get started right in building these walls. They didn't just come out here and begin to uh, put one stone upon another. First, they had to clear the ground, remove the debris, and build a solid foundation that would enable those stones to stand uh, for these centuries. You know, getting started right is vitally important. Let's talk about that because it's never too late for a new beginning. You know, rebuilding is a subject that touches everyone. Uh, there are people who are trying to rebuild their lives after divorce. Others are trying to rebuild their lives after perhaps the death of a spouse. Uh, still others are rebuilding their lives after some setback. Uh, churches are trying to revitalize and rebuild. Uh, many of you have businesses that, that need a recharge, that need rebuilding themselves. Uh, you know, there's no one who's ever been a greater role model as a rebuilder than Nehemiah. You know, Nehemiah uh, was an interesting person. He was not a priest. He was not a preacher. He was a layman, uh, just like most of us watching this right now. He, he had a civil service job, actually, in the court of King Artaxerxes in Persia, and he had retirement benefits. He had all of those things stacked up with him, and yet he left all of it, took a risk to go back to Jerusalem and rebuild those broken walls. After the death of King Solomon, uh, the kingdom of Israel divided into a northern kingdom and a southern kingdom. The northern kingdom in 722 BC was taken away into Assyrian captivity and actually never returned. The southern kingdom was left in Judah with its capital in Jerusalem and its temple there. Uh, it was taken away into Babylonian captivity in 586, when Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonian legions uh, surrounded the city of Jerusalem, eventually destroyed it, broke down its walls, burned its gates, uh, took away its people captive, and only left a remnant there. They took away the brightest minds in Israel back to Babylon to train them in the way of the Babylonians so they could send them back to rule their conquered lands. Uh, you might remember Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego were some of those people. They came back and later the Persians broke the Babylonian supremacy. And under Artaxerxes, a remnant of those captive Jews were allowed to go back to Jerusalem and begin the rebuilding process under Ezra and others. They went back and the task was so enormous, the debris was piled so high that after a few days of seeking to rebuild, they lost all hope and gave up. Years passed and Nehemiah, who had a job in the court of the king, heard a report from Jerusalem that the walls were broken still, the gates were burned, and worse, the people were a reproach to God. And Nehemiah went back to Jerusalem to be the agent of rebuilding, to recruit those workers, to rebuild the city of Jerusalem. And miracle of miracles, he, he did it in 52 days. And the secret to the rebuilding process for Nehemiah and for you and for me is the ability to get started right. You know, in anything in life, that's where we have our most difficult time. And that is in get starting right. I play golf. Uh, the most important shot on a par four is that tee shot. If you just dribble the ball off the tee or hook it into the woods, uh, you have a difficult time ever getting on the green in two. But if you make that first shot right down the fairway uh, where you're positioned to get on the green, you're well off. Most of us have tried to go on a diet and the hardest part is just getting started. Or how about an exercise program? Many of us right now, I'm sure, need to be in an exercise program. And the basic reason we're not 
is that we just don't know how to get started. Well, if you want to rebuild your life, the most important principle is to get started right. And that's what Nehemiah shows us in the first chapter of his book, because he lays out some principles that will enable you and will enable me to get started right in our own personal rebuilding process. You know, the first step in getting started right is to make an honest evaluation of the situation. This is exactly what Nehemiah did in the first three verses of the book that bears his name in chapter 1. In fact, in verse 3, he says that the survivors who are left from captivity in the province are there in great distress and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is also broken down and its gates are burned with fire. It was time for Nehemiah to face the facts, honestly. Those walls were still broken down after all those years. The gates were still burned to the city of Jerusalem and unhinged, meaning that they were so vulnerable to the enemy. But worse, Nehemiah says, left in that state, it was a total reproach to God. You know, I know folks who never get started right. I, I actually know some people who've met premature deaths because they wouldn't make an honest evaluation of their situation. They had pain, they had difficulty, they had heart pain, they ignored it, they didn't go to the doctor. And because they didn't make an honest evaluation of the situation, some of them met a, a premature death. I know folks in relationships that have broken relationships and, and primarily because they wouldn't be honest with one another. Wouldn't make an honest evaluation of their circumstance and situation. In your own life, are there any walls that are broken? Any gates that are burned that have left you vulnerable to the enemy? Make an honest evaluation.